Hello YouTube and Minecrafters, this is the Black Belt Panda, and I'm back here at the bunker. I made some improvements to it, um, I will show you those in a second, uh, but in this video we're actually going to improve the bunker, uh, make some upgrades to its functionality. Uh, so first of all, I will show you what I did to the inside of the bunker. So someone suggested I replace the glass panes with iron bars, I went ahead and did that and it looks awesome. So you can see, iron bars, much better. Do the same here. Looks pretty good. Uh, why is that there? Anyway, uh, put some iron bars, one on either side of the window, and a block in the middle. Now this serves two purposes. One, spiders cannot crawl through the hole. And two, uh, you can hide behind the block here if you're getting shot at. Uh, so pretty simple there. Let's head outside really quick, and I will show you the other change I made. And it's turning nighttime. Lovely. I will sleep the night off really quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and you may have noticed you can't see the bunker. I uh, took someone else's advice and went ahead and hid the bunker by camouflaging it with the dirt and grass blocks. And as you can see... It is much more difficult to actually see, especially from a distance. I got rid of the torches and everything, so it's no longer a shining beacon. Um, now, what we're going to do here uh, in terms of upgrading its functionality is actually another suggestion that someone left in the comments um, regarding the front here. Uh, they wanted some piston-operated blocks that would block off the front so players couldn't pour lava in on you, and you, know, you couldn't get shot by the skeletons as easily. Um, or if you just wanted to hide the bunker. So, what we're going to do is we are going to run back inside really quick. And we need a lever. It's going to be operated by a lever. So when you pull the lever, a bunch of grass blocks will pop up, or dirt blocks, whatever, will pop up, camouflaging the front of the bunker, as well as providing a barrier between you and any potential lava, arrows, etc. So we're going to put a lever right there. I'm putting it third block in from the outside. And then we need to go outside and run redstone to some sticky pistons. So we're going to need redstone dust, re redstone repeaters, redstone torches, and of course these sticky pistons themselves. So we're going to hop down in here. I've already got this all dug out. Let me get up here. Now, this is the block. See, one, two, three. This here is the block that the lever is on. So we're going to put the redstone dust behind it, and all I'm doing is running it down here to what are going to be repeaters. So we're going to run a straight line all the way across here, and we're going to put in repeaters. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven repeaters. And the next thing we're going to want to do is place some redstone torches on the blocks that the repeaters are going to. Three, four, five, oops, six, seven torches, one for each repeater. And then finally, we're going to take our sticky pistons and we're going to place them so that they face up across here in a, in a straight line above each of the torches. So there should be seven total sticky pistons. And last one. There we go. And now we just put a grass block there to hide it. You can put a dirt block if you're not in creative mode. And then we fill the rest in here above the sticky pistons with grass blocks or dirt blocks. Uh, or any other block you want. And as you can see, if we move back here, to the distant to a distance it just looks like a big hill that's all you can see but if we come around back here and head on inside the bunker we can trip that lever and it will activate the pistons or deactivate the pistons as you can see the levers up deactivate the pistons and all the grass blocks and dirt blocks are retracted downward one block. 
which gives us the ability to shoot out the window and see what's out there. And if we come over here, you can see what it looks like with the blocks attracted. Looks pretty good. So pretty simple tutorial. Uh, a little bit shorter than my normal ones, but I just wanted to go ahead and add that extra functionality to the bunker and show you how to do it. Um, so I hope you liked it. If you did like it, click the like button. Um, leave a comment if you got any questions uh, or more suggestions. As you can see, I do take suggestions. <laughs> uh, and subscribe because I'll be coming up with more videos. We'll be doing more with this bunker here, turning it into a large complex slowly over time. Um, and a good portion of it will probably be underground. A lot of uh, underground connecting tunnels. Maybe I'll add some rail, uh, little railways, uh, minecart rails, whatever. Um, it'll be pretty cool, I think. So like, comment, subscribe. This is the Black Belt Panda, and I'll talk to you in the next video.